War. Run. 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 War is an armed conflict that transpires between two or more groups. War can be caused by competition over resources, conflict over territories, religious differences, etc. On this video, an eyewitness is going to be sharing with us her experience of the Nigerian Civil War. The Nigerian Civil War started on the 6th of July, 1967 and ended on the 15th of January, 1970. The war lasted for three years. Three years of horror, three years of pain, three years of separation, three years of hunger, three years of death, three years of losses. Stay tuned as we unveil the story of the war. Hello beautiful people, wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Comfortido and this is Just With Coffee. If you are stumbling upon this channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Do want to hit that red subscribe button and the post notification bell. In that way, you always get notified anytime I post a new video. Welcome back to yet another video. Welcome. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. So on today's video, today's video is going to be a very interesting video. As you guys can already see, I have a guest on the channel and it's no other person than my grandma. <laughs> So sitting beside me is my grandma and she's over 100 years so yeah she's over 100 years of age and we're going to be shooting a video together this video has been long overdue i've been begging my grandma to feature in this channel but today the lord has done this for us so she's finally here on this channel and she's going to be telling us the story of the civil war yeah the civil war that happened here in nigeria for some of us who do not know the civil war started in 1967 and lasted till 1970 that's three years so yeah the civil war lasted for three years so we have her here on our channel today to just tell us everything that happened during the war so that's exactly what's going to be happening right now so my grandma is going to be using a quiet bomb to tell us a story and i'm going to be interpreting everything she's going to be saying so for the sake of my subscribers and people that are watching me that are not from a choir bomb or don't understand the language or are not even from nigeria not to worry i am going to be doing the interpretation for us almost immediately so without further ado let's just get down into the video so she can go ahead and be telling us the war story so i am going to be asking her what happened from the beginning how the war started where she was when it started and everything that's just what i'm going to be asking her right now and then she'll be telling us and i'll be interpreting so make it a lady that's all mm -hmm. so and you mean doc because he keep to pay he died in a coma you get too much if you keep my money come on it too okay okay when i get that song i don't work in your media so when the war started, I was in my compound. Okay. I, I left my husband's side. I was in my father's house. That was where I dropped my children. So I went to the market. To get food stuff so I can cook for my children, which happens to be my father and my auntie. When I went to the market, as I went to buy something for the children, I saw somebody coming from our compound with a box on a bicycle. With a box on a bicycle. Following me at the back. When I turned back, I noticed it was somebody I knew. When after I saw this person I knew, after I saw this other person I knew, I looked to my other side. I saw people trooping with boxes as though they were traveling as well. I said, no, this is not a good sign. What am I, this food I'm going to buy, who am I going to eat, eat with? I won't go to the market again. Let me go back home. 
and I went. I came back home. When I went back home, the compound I left people inside. Everybody that was inside had gone out except my children. I called them and they came out from under the bed. By that time, a bomb had already fallen at the backyard. At the backyard of the house I was living. This God As my children heard that noise, they ran under the bed. They went under the bed for shelter. Till I turned back from the road leading to the market, back to the house. When I came back home, I stood at the door and I was knocking. My children answered. I told them to open the door for me. The children came out and opened the door for me. When I entered inside, I left my my box of clothes on the bed. I carried my box. I held my children. We ran away. We didn't even know what we're going to eat in wherever we're going, and we don't even know where we're going to. I don't know where I'm going. That was how I ran away. I took my children. I held this one by this side and I held this one by this side. I started running. I went far. I have gone to different places, different local governments. I was running. I did not carry anything, not even pots, not plates, not spoon, not anything, not even food. I don't even know what they will eat on their way. Mm-hmm. I saw what was happening on the way. A mother that was also running left the child. The husband said, Shebi, you want to follow your child. I have followed your child. Me have left you. The mother left the child and was hardened. The child was shouting, Mommy, Mommy, my mother, my mother. And the mother was still going. He did not look back so that he would not feel compassion on the child. She ran and left the child. The child kept shouting, My mother, my mother. Till the evening. Till the evening, I didn't hear the child shouting. As she left this child on the way, we entered somebody's compound. I stayed there. We're still hearing the child shouting. So during the evening time, we didn't hear the child shouting. Again. So one of us went to check if the child was just quiet. The person realized that the child was already dead. And came back and told that the child was dead. Since the child was not among us, the child was not in our own troop. So that's how the child died. 
the child died. So the next morning, the villagers, the owners of the land, went to bury the child in that same spot. The child died. We stayed there till the night, and the next morning. After two days, we're looking for another place to go to. The owner of the compound we entered told us, as you are coming here, what are you going to do? There was serious hunger, children were crying. There was a time that somebody went to the market. One of the persons that was with me went to the market and bought food stocks. They used to cook yam like pepper soup and sell. In the morning, when your child is crying, just run to the market and buy the yam pepper soup and give it to the children to eat for the day. But personally, I'd already wasted all the money I was with. I did not have money again. As I came there, I noticed that that was what they were selling in that market. And the person I was with he always goes to that market to buy that yam pepper soup for her own children. When she buys for her children, I will also go and buy two for my own children. But along the line, my money finished. One of the days she went to the market when I did not have money on me again and bought her own and brought it to her children and then she opened the umbrella and then sheltered her children to sit down and eat while my own children were just there moping at her. My children started crying because them too they had not eaten. She waited for her children to finish eating and then she covered the umbrella and continued with her life. I took that as an example. I told God, please don't allow me to die and leave my children. Because if I die and leave this children, it will be very bad. God, please don't allow me to die and leave this children. God heard me and saved me. I was alive and I took care of my children. All the places we ran to, everywhere we went to, I went there empty handed. I 
So during the course of my sojourn, I actually realized that I was not with any money. So one of the days I went to the market and then I saw, I bought Watali and then I met a lady that I knew and the lady actually introduced me to Watali business, telling me that if I buy this Watali and then go to the main town, I could sell it and then make profit. And you can have me at the the business. Okay, during the course of the war, I want back, but I want it. During the course of the war, personally, my own children um, were malnourished and had rashes on their body. During the course of this war, I went with my own sister and her family as well, with, with her children and my own children. Went to somebody's compound. My my sister's husband was stood as the big person of the family.